Hello there, and welcome to another Brick in the Mall, episode 5. So, in the previous episode, we got this place up and running, and it's doing pretty down well. Um, I mean, we've been these up. We've got the guys here moving around, getting all the stock in and out pretty quickly. We've got two uh, all day long because they buy that much stuff that most of the time they are actually keeping stock. Really, really borderline. Uh, over here, we have the big shop, it's doing quite well. Um, in fact, we can see our profit margins have gone through the roof thanks to uh, this place. They sell a lot of expensive items. But this place is operating quite nicely now. We, I have noticed that our shelves are running a little bit bare. Um, and our stock person is basically a bit overloaded. So we need a second stock person. That's not in question right now. But I believe I already have one. Oh, wrong button. I believe I already have one uh, set to come in. Can I please see my stock clerks only? So yeah, I have two during the uh, evening. When it's the busiest, but I think I might need two all day long. Right, look at this now. Um, current time is 1400 hours, which means we should have a new person starting now. So we should now, yes, we've got two people in stock right now. So I think we need two people all day long, but to make sure that that person isn't wasted, I'm going to put some extra stuff in here. Now, under our research, we're going to be doing research of electronics, which electronics are going to be mostly over here. Maybe a small expansion. Because that's what they're mostly for that. This is more food and stuff. So rather than adding crap in here, let's have a look at the things we're going to need here. Um, so under needs, we have all this stuff. Now if you say here, can you show me the foods? Because this is mostly food, right? Uh, milk. Okay, there's a big demand for milk, but we can't make cash on milk yet. And ice cream, there's a demand for ice cream. Those are the frozen food and stuff, the way fridges. We haven't got them yet. So we don't care about them right now. <clears throat> so. With what we care about is the things about the green lines, that's our current supply. Like this, like snacks here. There's a demand of 80, we sold 14, and we've only got one on display. Well, is the one on display the reason why we only sold 14? Maybe. So let's do that. Let's have a look at the big, big things in each. Now, I wish I could sort this by like the highest demand. But we'll stick with food. So, fresh bread, fresh vegetables, uh, a very high demand. Um, so it's fresh bread, fresh vegetables. Fresh fruits, it's basically the green tables. Um, and then breakfast cereals and snacks. Okay, breakfast cereals, snacks, fresh fruits, veg, and bread. Okay, so fruit, the bread, uh, that's stuff there, fruits, vegetables, and bread. They are all on the green tables, and the other oh, one, the snack, snacks, and the breakfast cereal are on these wooden tables. Okay, so if you place down three more green tables and two more food tables, that'll just give us a, a simple double of what we need. So give me objects, mouth please, thank you. Uh, objects, give me the green tables, and we'll put these green tables back here, sort of out of the way, so we get, we're not sort of clogging up this area. Uh, no, you know what, one there, one there, one there. Uh, then we want the normal food shelf table, put that there, there, and I might as well put three of them down. It'll feel like it's, it's unifying the area. That's the word to use. Um, so those guys are going to just have to go around that shelf, there's no two words about that, that is fine, my workers are here, hello workers! Right, here, if you could put down the, put the bread, put the fruits near the aisle, uh, the vegetables there, and then your bread there, so you pick up your bread, pick up your veg, and then pick up your fruit on the way out. Here we'll put down the snacks, here we'll put down the breakfast soon. now we have one spare food item, so what should we put into there? Um, well, canned foods and candies are kind of directly behind them at 50. Uh, all saying that, rice and pastas, right there. And sliced bread. Rice and pastas are sliced. Well, sliced bread needs to be. So it's rice and pastas or sliced bread. Uh, 16 is the book up. Let's go with. Let's go with rice and pastas. We've got two lots of normal bread. Uh, so, rice and pastas. There we go. Extra stock. That should hopefully increase the number of sales. We will find out by looking at the uh, charts later on. Because uh, they're actually looking at the demands, you can see that uh, the rice and pasta, these are relatively stable. If they shoot, shoot up to about high there, then we know it worked. Um, it's a bit late in the day to really know, but uh, we shall find out. Let's go full speed and find out. Full speed! That shop is now closed. There's no problem over there. Uh, with these extra shells coming on board, I'm probably going to need to actually get an extra worker in. I want to give them another day. Just to find out, we'll find out if that extra work is actually needed. Um, I have got my store set to full. I did say, why are they, uh, you know, why do they have these 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 shelves? Why are these um, set to 
maximum. So it doesn't make sense. I mean, why, why would they ever be 80% and not, nine, not 100? And I can't remember who it was. It's something in the comments. My cat checked me. It's coming down. But someone said in the comments, maybe it's because the stock has expiry. Eh? If you have a big storeroom, then it can go off in the store. I didn't think of that. Yeah, entirely possible. Also, I didn't realise that shop closed. Oh, did we have a 24 hour in the store yet? We haven't gone 24 hour in the store yet. Do we have research 24 hour? Uh, 24 hour, it'll be nights. Night hours. Yeah, we have 24 hours. We can make this store 24 hours. Ooh, we haven't done that yet. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get one member of staff, two members of staff during the day. Uh, so I need to hire a stock clerk to see this place stocked up. Somebody who's fast. Uh, well, you're speedy. I don't care about the other two because you're not actually going to be doing anything. So you're a star club and you start at midnight. That's a little overlap there. Uh, if you start at 11, there. Okay, that's best. If you start at 10, that b bottoms out because it's one all the way across. That's good. So you start at that time. There's nobody there now, so it's not a problem. Uh, we'll get a cashier's. Uh, a cashier's, uh, we're peaking, but we kind of have to do, I think. Um, I'm going to hire one cashier. Uh, no one's really good at the job, but you're nice and friendly. So you do the job and you can start at, 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 at 2300. And your job is basically to handle all the stuff. Okay. So the next day, I'm not going to open the, change the opening times, but the next day that happens. Uh, this hopefully won't get flooded. If we forget sort of people, massive demand early morning and midnight to. Uh, 6 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. Then we're going to need to put more staff on or move stuff around. I did notice we had a lot of excess staff at the peak time here, but it's it's unfortunate due to that. But now we're opening earlier. Maybe we can actually spread them out a little better. Ah, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Wait till the normal opening times. Then we open the store for full 24 hours. That piece there can actually be done. And we have a research completion. We now have access to a no not that one electronic supply we can do we can do laptops and games and smartphones and tables and mp3 players and cameras and tv sets we can do stuff okay well let's just come over here let's get these guys stocked in um let's see build now these things are there and we can do nothing there in the fridge oh we got fridges now i didn't see we had the fridges okay um uh, food shelves won't be on that but we do have uh, here we have something. So if we put down one of these normal shelves just there and give me the green table just there, I need to see what we, how many you need to play. So if you just build them for me, I can have a quick nosy. Thank you. Right, so we've got... Oh, I thought I had something in there. Apparently not. So yeah, if you could remove that table. Let's pause a second so it doesn't run off. Uh, remove that object, please. Thank you. And over here, this table here should now have, yeah, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new tables. I needed green tables at that. Stop doing builds. Uh, give me objects, green tables. So I need seven, one, two, three, four, five. I can put them down the bottom here, but I don't really want to. Can't rotate them currently, um, full speed. Remove that green one, but the green one's getting in my way. That one there, not the green one, the white one. Thank you. Boom. Um, I could put them... Yeah, I could do that. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Kind of focus them down the centre aisle. A little more than I'd like them to, but it's best we can do at this point. So, if we go you, and you're going to have laptops. And right inside of the laptops, on the other side, we're going to have the... Um... No, next to the laptops will be game consoles. Next to the games consoles will be TV sets. So you can buy your computer, or you can buy your game console. But you buy your game console, you're gonna need a TV. And over here, you have your your tablets are there, and your mouse. Wake up, and your smartphones are right next to the tablets. So they're sort of the portable devices. And then over here, you have your MP3 player. So all your portable devices on this side, all your non-portable devices on that side. Over there here, we have uh, cameras. Yeah, they're in the portable area. That's fine. And we have a spare one here for one of the others. I don't know which one it'll be yet. It'll be the, whichever one actually uh, sort of sells out the best. Although, saying that, people are seem to be buying a lot of them. Hmm. Yeah, they are, aren't they? 
We'll find out. I have to cut the queue, maximum queue size down, which is kind of annoying. But, ooh, don't forget to do this bit. Uh, you now are open 24 hours a day. Boom. That place never shuts. So hopefully it won't get massive demand during the night and cripple it in the first night. But if we can see it building up, we can deal with it. Okay. These guys are a little bit stressed and get this place fully stocked up. But it looks like they're doing it. Look at that. We've got game consoles there now. And we've got uh, all of it's coming on. I mean, we might have sold out some of here. Because I'm pretty sure they stopped that area before. Uh, but yeah, these guys are, are expensive. So that's good. Boom, we do it. Game console, TVs. Okay. There's only like four PCs per rack. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, two laptops per rack. Yeah, I'm looking at the actual items here. Uh, there seems to be quite a few of them. They actually... Did you see how many I have in there? Oh, yeah, look at that. We ran out of laptops again. Yeah, we need more laptops. Uh, for now, anyway. Uh, laptop computers. There we go. I mean, TVs sold up pretty quick as well, but uh, right now, that's not an issue. There we go. Uh, over here, this place is very busy still. Excellent to see. Excellent. What's our profit like right now? Already passed yesterday's profits, and we haven't even got to the end of the day. Uh, that place might need to be open a bit longer. Uh, you're fully stocked up, so you're happy. Uh, you're doing all right, actually. I haven't actually changed the uh, the daytime number of people there. Just give me a bit more time. I think also we might need another janitor, because the janitor is a little bit uh, getting behind, aren't they? You know, it's probably worth it, especially now we're going to open the place up uh, 24 hours. Yeah, look at that. We need somebody in the morning. But give me a janitor. Somebody who is... Well, look at you. You can have the early morning shift, because nobody wants the early morning shift. There we go, and during the peak of the day, I think somebody can run really fast to just do kind of that area, which is like the peak of the day. Yeah, about there. That's about the peak, isn't it? There we go. Okay, that should get you guys running fine. We have our friendly people here all queuing up to buy their goods, and all the shelves apart from that one appear to be full. Oh, not that one as well. So they're doing the job. They're keeping up with stock, which is good to see. Uh, that shop over there is... Closed? Not because red when it's closed, though. It's kind of weird, but it's not red. Hmm. Car pack capacity is not even risking maxing out. Although, 72 is the highest it reached. 86, we've got loads of specialty. Ooh, people are uh, happy and not happy at the same time. Ooh. Uh, so, 65% happiness rating. Uh, it's not as good as our 2,000% from a couple of episodes ago. But we're all right. We can, we can survive that. Hi. Ooh, cash. We're anyway. Make one, make 10,000 total sales. Okay, we need to make 10,000 total sales. So we made a book for the last one. Sell 50 types of products, but 47. So if you get that last bit done. Uh, I am actually going to here. Oh, uh, I think it was Yoni. Uh, what's that? 10 daily profit over 25 minutes. I think Yoni suggested putting a car, uh, the door this side for the staff car pack. That is an excellent idea. I'm pretty sure it was Yoni, but I can't guarantee it. So I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it there to give some chance to expand down. So I'll put the door there. A staff door there to allow staff to get in and out pretty damn quickly to their own car packs. There we go. Right. Also, we did build a bit too close to the wall, but it's, uh, that was a bug and it's been solved now, so you can't do that anymore. Or at least it doesn't cause any problems anymore. One of the two. Um, sorry, the recent update came out. Oh, we've got one person oh, running at the night shift, and the shop is actually quite busy over the night shift. Although, are we looking like this might be... Yeah, this is a this is a job for two people. Oh, okay. Uh, don't need to stop it to the cap. fix it, but what I can do is go to the cashier, give me a... You're, you're a decent cashier, you can do the night shift. You start at 2200, 2300, there you go. Uh, there you go, you can start a little bit later, there's a gap there, but that's fine. Uh, and then we have, we have two people on during the uh, evening shift. We can't do all about it right now, we have this warning saying we, the queues are full, we miss opportunities. Can't do all about that now. Because it's too late, you can't bring emergency staff in, which is kind of annoying that you can't just go, emergency staff, go! But you can't. Uh, the queue lengths are maxed out at, uh, I don't know how far, but probably about there or there. If it gets any higher than that, the person walks away. So you need them to be uh, processing the people pretty quickly. It is now 6 o'clock, more people are coming into the shop, look at that. More people everywhere, boom. And more shack outs, look at that. And then, yeah, when that person goes home, they all distribute themselves. Perfect. It's working quite well. Two people during the night, I think, is actually going to really help it out. Um, that should really be good for us. One stop person wasn't an issue. I think we're okay. I think we got it down pretty well. Bum, 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 bum. This place now is open, and they are selling all the good stuff. Beep, beep, beep. Look at that. Yeah, she's so selling in hundreds. What are you see, properly? Eleven thousand yesterday. Nice. 
Uh, my stock people are doing a very good job right now. Keeping everything up to date. Over there, this place is getting a bit more stressed, but I think it's, these tables here are hopefully helping out. Uh, if we just check our needs, look at that. Uh, the fresh vegetables demand has not gone up, but the bread and fruit definitely has. Um, let's see. The rice and pasta hasn't gone up. Uh, the snacks also haven't gone up. So the actual point extra one down did not increase the sales. Ooh. Now that is interesting. I thought they would do. Um it might be that, oh what's that? Queues are full. Oh with all the new stuff. We need more staff in here. Well um we have two staff members at the same time, so let's bring in uh, an extra cashier. Uh anybody got cashiering? No, but you are sociable, aren't you? And you can come in at the same time. Three should be more than enough, but if they're not, we can be more in the next day. Um, I can't have the queues long enough, unfortunately, because the tables are there. But no, we can do with that, so it's fine. And then they gotta go home and get free tech TVs. Uh, this place is remarkably busy right now at six o'clock at night. It is getting quite busy. Get, should get busy as time goes on because it's obviously night time and people finish work and come in. So hopefully, um, I'm not quite sure what I was gonna put there. Maybe another loading bank. But we don't really need it right now, so we're okay. Um, garbage truck should come and collect that stuff at some point. That place is full. I think we're kind of stable. I mean, our research is currently frozen foods, which is going to be perfect for putting into that area there, which we can then obviously uh, use our. Let's do it now. We use our build people to take the to take the walls down. You remove those walls, please. Uh, and that door, and then we'll put in that door's place an actual wall. Uh, wall. And then, 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 put new shelves in there as well, which is going to be perfect for us. Boom. Put a wall in there, so there's just a hole in the wall. Kind of annoying if you went to a shop and there was a hole in the wall, wouldn't there? There we go. Uh, so now I can assign a store. Boop. There we go. So that is now part of the store. And we put new tables in there as well. I'm going to make that like a freezer aisle. <laughs> Oh, we actually have freezers already, don't we? Uh, build objects. The the fridge, the fridge, the fridge, the fridge, the fridge is where's the fridge? There's doors. Uh, I've lost the fridges. Um, coat rack. Fridge. Oh, fridge. There they are like themselves. Uh, we can put quite a few of them. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least eight of them. But if I put these in on the back wall, boom, boom, boom. See how many of them we actually need right now. Uh, well, we need all of them from that side, but so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why is that queue for? I got people working next year. Frozen food supply is done, excellent. Uh, clothing supply, no, I kind of want to open it up to doing. Let's do restrooms first, that we can have bathrooms in place. So when we build the restaurants or bowling alley or whatever else, it encourages them to stay around for that, so restrooms first. Okay, oh, wrong one. Okay, so our staff situation here is there. 6am, there's nobody on staff at 6am. Okay, uh, sort them by their starting hour. I want the person at the end here. Can you work at one hour extra? Uh, like that. Uh, midnight, yeah, the other one should do a little gap. Uh, boo. Okay. Uh, doesn't he quit the job or something? Oh, no, it's uh, mid midnight. They're there now. It just shot them around a bit. Um, put you there. Can I want you overlapping that thing? There's no, there's no real demand at the first part. That should really help there. We'll try that. There's a little drop just before you see, so maybe we'll find out. Right. So in this place here, we definitely have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. We've got three in already. So three, four, five, six, seven. So that should hopefully get our uh, supply up. Boom, ba -doom, ba -doom. We're not going to make them active until we're ready to go. They are ready to go. Okay. Uh, you at the back wall, you are going to be the milk goes there, the dairy goes there, and the ice cream goes there, all the things you want in the back row. Um, then um, before that you have your frozen pizzas there and with your pizzas you want your vegetables on that side. 
And over this side you get both of your meats, your fish and your meat. Boom. So there we go. So it's like frozen food aisle here, frozen other stuff here. Um, so meats and animal produce here. If you don't want them, you got pizzas and pizzas and vegetables. And then here you got your dairy products. Ah, you see? There we go. Full speed. Get that place stocked up, guys. But uh, looks like we are doing pretty well. Uh, car pack is now fifty odd percent. Well, yeah, look at that. We're filling the car pack up. Not percentage, by the way. We've got hundred. But the car pack is starting to get filled. Which is filled right? We need to start moving the cap down here at some point, really, but we haven't got around to doing that yet. You know what? Let's do that now. Um, let's see, we need the cap pack to be a few rows deep, so give me the roads. We'll get the road pack in place, and we can't do the cap pack itself yet. But if we go, if we have one line of car pack in there, and then we go down, okay. So if we say, that's the road cars, then that's the road cars there, then that's the road cars there, that's two sets, just like that. Okay. And we can put a bit on the bottom as well. So it gives us it actually gives us more cap because that's four rows, five rows of cap packing right now. One, two, three, four rows. And there's no reason to remove the ones above anyway. So we're quite good to leave them as they are. Um, I won't actually build the actual cap packing spaces just yet. Get the builders to make the road first. Because then what we can do is we can run that across there maybe. We'll figure that a bit out in a bit. Uh, that's okay. We got the new objective of sell 60 down from it. That means we got the 10, uh, the 50, we did that. Everyone's going home now, and the shops are doing good. Let's just run it through the midnight, see how the midnight section runs before we end the episode. Because I want to make sure that the midnight timing's kind of right, because I will forget to do that um, if we don't do it properly. Um, if this works quite nicely, I can build this guy's car pack can be sort of here. And we need a door. Oh, let's put a door down here, because uh, obviously right now there are no doors at the bottom. Let's give it a double door, and we'll put it just there so it can come straight in. Uh, yes, right by the counters. So in you come, right there. Do do do, up you go. Right, so the, so the first part is almost done. That's pretty good. And we are 2300 hours. Here we go. This is where we get to the interesting part. We need to keep an eye on the people and see how big these queues get. Because we don't really know, do we? Bam, 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 bam. Come on, queues. You know, I feel a little bit bad that that building there is so small. Let's uh, build foundations. Around that entire area, there you go. It just feels bad that that building doesn't have a good foundation. Um, also, I'm going to put a staff door just there, but I can't do it just yet. And I'm going to do a remove walls from there, because the walls are obviously in the way. Um, and build staff door just there. I can't put it in just yet. Uh, I don't want to put it there, okay. I'm sure the guys that are building down here will come up at some point. But the queues are they're holding up. The, oh, are the queues going to hold up all the way? Look at the air. Uh, okay, that's good. You're building that piece first. That is excellent. I can put that in there. But I don't want it there. I want it actually there. Uh, I don't mind where it actually is, but there would be fine. Uh, yeah, put it there. You have it. You'll have a door to get out of. Okay, we got one little warning to get queues full warning uh, at 7:05. So 7 o'clock is still a borderline. But look at that demand. We have really ramped up the demand with these freezers. Yes. Might need to get more uh, stock people in in the next episode. I don't know. That car's sharing a spot by the look of it. Um, yeah, you might want to not do that. It kind of results in bad things happening. Um, there we go. Look at that. Nice new building. I'll put some stuff in there later on for you guys. But there we go. We've managed it to handle this, the store. It is borderline right now. We do need to look at uh, that 7 o'clock slot. But I think other than that, we are okay. So for now, given the current status and everything holding up, we're going to have to go. But next episode, I think we start work on the big area. We've got 191,000. That's pretty much good enough to start on a new section, I believe. Um, a big store. Maybe not big, big, but maybe like having a store there, big storage, and then enough of them to share it is, a, is an option. I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to plan that one out. If you have any suggestions of the design, let me know. But until next time, all I can really say is comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And... I'll see you all next time.